Welcome to a new vlog. This will be a rather short video where I will be talking about a rather common subject, LEDs. I'm sure everyone uses them in their projects, but if you're like me, you probably never cared about the efficiency of the LEDs you use for signaling the status of something on your microcontroller board. So what I was doing most of the time was picking the least expensive LED available while still uh, choosing a known manufacturer like, I don't know, Kingbright, Lighton, Osram, just to avoid uh, quality issues. And that was my uh, go-to option for a voltage rail indicator LED or my blinky LED for signaling some status on a board. But this of course meant I needed to drive these LEDs with a fairly high current of 15 to 20 milliamps to get decent brightness out of them. And that might be okay for numerous applications, but in this video I want to talk about high efficiency LEDs and how your project could be nicer because of them. Now here is your uh, standard uh, green SMD LED and I picked a uh, completely random one from uh, for this example in 0603 package which is a common size I use in my projects. Uh, this one it's from uh, light on and it has a, a typical forward voltage of 2.1 volts. This is a green LED and just 10 millicandela uh, output rating at a test current of 20 milliamps. So it's full rated for cur current is uh, 30 milliamps, but you're gonna drive it conservatively at 20 milliamps or even lower to expand its lifespan. And I have this LED soldered to a uh, small uh, test board that I built a while ago. And uh, while talking about PCBs, let me also mention the sponsor of this video, which is uh, PCBWay.com. They are the official provider of circuit boards for the Voldoc YouTube channel and right now they are hosting a PCB design tutorial contest. There are nice rewards you can win if you submit a PCB design tutorial. So check them out, the link is in the description below. So I have one of these light on LEDs installed on this uh, PCB and it's driven through a uh, 150 ohm resistor from a 5 volt uh, power supply, which should provide a current of uh, roughly 19 milliamps to the LED considering its uh, forward voltage of 2.1 volts. So this puts us in the uh, range uh, of 20 milliamp test condition that they, um, for, for which they give out the, the, the results in the data sheet. Next to it, also on the same board, I have installed another LED, also green 0603 package, but this one has a forward voltage of 3 volts with a typical luminous intensity of 650 millicandela. And just a quick note here, if you find different ratings in the data sheet, you have a table with uh, different output ratings, for example, for an LED in a data sheet, um, that's because the manufacturer tests these and bins them according to the results. So they will sell the best LEDs, slightly more expensive because they have better specs. But I have this one, it's probably a mid-range uh, spec. I have this one uh, powered through a 1K resistor, which should provide a current of roughly 2 milliamps to the LED, considering its uh, forward voltage of 3 volts and the power supply rail of 5 volts. Now, which one do you think it's going to be brighter? The Nation Star LED is uh, this one, which sits uh, above, and the Light On LED is this one, which sits below. If your choice was the second LED driven at 2 milliamps, you would be right. Obviously, it's the more efficient LED out of the two, and you can see that with just 2 milliamps, it's very bright when compared to the other one, and it also has a much a nicer, a much more vivid green color. On paper, they seem to be pretty close. Uh, the bright one is 520 nanometers wavelength and the other one is uh, 565. But in real life, you can see that the high efficiency LED looks much nicer. Now, using such a highly efficient LED can result in a few advantages that us engineers can benefit from when designing a circuit. First, I would mention energy efficiency. And I know this can vary a lot because LEDs might not be on all the time or uh, you might not have a lot of LEDs on your board. You might not even care for efficiency, but the world is moving towards energy efficient devices and every little bit counts in the end. Just imagine yourself building a battery powered device. You need it to be low power and you also need to signal something to the user. 
using such an LED could help increase your battery life. Next, I would mention increased reliability and higher flexibility because sometimes we have these LEDs powered from a GPIO on our microcontroller and some microcontroller pins have limited output current capability and so by using a highly efficient LEDs we can light up the LED with just a couple of milliamps instead of 20 milliamps as it is necessary for the standard LED. And for example, there are some microcontrollers uh, that have uh, an available budget of just, I don't know, 20, 30 milliamps for an entire port. So you have to divide that for all of the pins on that port. Some circuits might have low output current rating. So because of that, you can be very limited with what you can drive from those pins. And finally, I would mention improved user interface because having a bright LED can help the user in the end. You can shine that LED through a light pipe and still get decent output at the front plate of an enclosure, for example. Or you could still have it visible in uh, direct sunlight. For example, here is the lower output LED from light on in my bright um, studio lights that I have here. It's barely visible. So this would be very similar to what you would see uh, in, out, in the outdoor uh, with direct sunlight. Maybe it could get uh, even dimmer in direct sunlight. So many of you might already be uh, using uh, these higher efficiency LEDs in your projects, but I wanted to do a video on the, on the topic so uh, more people give these a try. Here I have an Asian market manufacturer, uh, Foshan Nation Star, uh, but these are available from other well-known manufacturers as well. It's up to you which one you choose in your next project but just give these higher efficiency LEDs a try. I think you'll like them. This was the short video I wanted to share on high efficiency LEDs. If you haven't already, I would recommend hitting the subscribe button. There are more project videos coming up. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so with as little as $1 per month on Patreon. There will be a link on screen right now so you can check out my Patreon page. And by signing up on Patreon, you'll also be getting access to some of the uh, behind the scenes action as well as early release of my videos. Thank you for watching. Smash that like button and I'll see you next time.